Hey everybody, it's Monday, another new week, and we've got three items in the mail. We're going to start with this one. This is the third item I've been waiting for in that trade from Germany, so we'll go ahead and take a look at what we've got in these ones. So you saw the previous two on, it was Friday and Saturday last week, something like that, Thursday and Saturday, somewhere around there. And so this is envelope number three, some German hockey postcards, and who do we have here? We have Eduard Uvira, right there. Got uh, so we've got this is Craig to Topolniski, Topolniski, something like that. It's a lot I don't know about a lot of these players. I'm having to go through Elite Prospects and Hockey DB and look up as much as I can. We've got a uh, Yuri Lala, L A L A. There, go. there is, I don't know. Let's see if it says it on the back. Aha! This is uh, Carl Holy. Holy, Holly, something like that, H-O-L-Y. We have Vensi Sebek. Also, Mark Joris, J-O-O-R-I-S, I assume it's Joris then. We've got Jason Hall. And there is a Roger Nicholas there to finish things off. So, cool stuff right there. You know, like I've said before, I always like getting kind of oddball stuff we don't normally find here in the U.S., and... Uh, German hockey postcards from the late 80s and early 90s definitely fits that category. So, once again, really happy to get those back. I uh, guess I got those in a trade. So, yeah, again, a uh, big thanks to uh, Thomas over in Germany for making that trade with me. So, let's move on to the TTMs. We've got two coming back today. I looked up who they were earlier, and I remember one of them. I forget the other one. So, we'll go with the one that I've forgotten. This is uh, from Canada. Somebody in the hockey world. Initials are TK. Can't tell uh, where the postmark is from, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one first. It's the one that I sent, I think, back in kind of late January, early February, somewhere around there. And, oh, that's right. I should remember this one because I went up looking up a video to try to make reference to after this. And, unfortunately, this video is from, like, 15 years ago, and it's no longer online. I can't find it anywhere. But uh, it was the Santa Domi video. And, no, this is not Ty Domi in here, but uh, let's see here. It was instead, uh, it's uh, Tomas Caberlet. Of the formerly of the Toronto Maple Leafs and also played a bit with Montreal and also Boston Carolina too apparently at points but there we go so he signed I sent four he signed four this is through his wife's restaurant in Toronto really happy to get those back he was usually a good signer as a player usually would sign two per every time you saw him and being in the uh, same division there between the Bruins and the Maple Leafs I saw him plenty for a few years there I was hoping to make reference to the Santa Domi video because it was part of the goes Caberlet go away in it and it's like that would be hilarious to put in there but yeah, no such luck on that. So instead, you get to deal with me singing it there. Last one we've got here. This is a postmark from Jacksonville, Florida. The initials are DW. It's going to be a former offensive lineman for the Broncos, I believe, in this one. This is going to be Mr. Doug Widell. Yes, indeed it is. So there we go. Ah, I have to lose those. There we go. Show you those two right there. So yeah, real happy to get those ones back as well. So two in the box today, plus the trade. I'm going to be setting a few out here pretty soon. I showed off the autographs I picked up at the card show back on Saturday in last week's video. So I've got a few of those that are going to be uh, getting written and mailed out. I also picked up some cards to go along with some of the uh, other ones from that batch too. Um, so I'm going to figure out real quick which ones are going out first here from this. Uh, hopefully I've got those separated out. And I... I put them somewhere else, apparently. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be mailing out a few more at least. So uh, those will be going in the box here pretty soon. I know they're around here somewhere. I don't want to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I already put them in the envelopes. That's uh, real smart right there. But, yeah, so I'll be sending out to... Well, a football one, John Offerdahl, just because I had the card of him. I'm going to be sending out Billy Cowan, Jim Britton, Joe Cunningham, Johnny Edwards, Rick Kester, and Jim Lonborg all here in the next couple days or so. i got enough stamps to send all those guys off, so... Might as well hit those now, and uh, whenever I can, we'll get the uh, other ones out once my purchase from Sport Lots gets here. I also picked up a car of Bill Nelson in that, and uh, I thought that he was still alive. He was always a really great signer, former uh, Browns quarterback. <coughs> Found out today, as I was about to go right to him, that no, he died in 2019. So, uh, unnecessarily spent 50 cents there. I also bought a card of Ron Fairley instead of Jim Ferry in there, and Jim Ferry's still alive and signing. Ron Fairley died uh, late, late last year, so... Yeah, don't know where my brain was on those two, but eh, oh well. Got the cards at least, and got a bunch of other stuff too. And we'll have seven of those going out here pretty soon, so yeah, good stuff there. 
let's see what we've got. We'll have Tuesday coming up next, hopefully. And if not, well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that will be coming right after this. So uh, stick around. Let's see. Hey, everybody. It's Tuesday. Um, it's actually 5 p.m. here, and we don't have any mail delivery yet. So uh, I know I've got three coming in today, at least. That's what uh, Informed Delivery tells me. So I may just have to show those off later on. Hopefully they'll be uh, here by the time I leave for band practice. If not, then, well, I'll just do it after band practice. But in the meantime, I may have mentioned before that I'm going to be taking advantage of the deal that uh, Beckett has for authenticating on baseball stuff right now. It's up to 50% off on, well, 50% off on anything up to $49 for a fee. So uh, talk to my friend Chris. He's going to get in on some of those as well. So hopefully be getting those in next week. And, uh, yeah, we'll hopefully have a... Uh, Big day to unbox and show those off as well. But I was going to go through and show you which ones I'll be sending off to Beckett. you got that nice little stack right there. So uh, one that you probably just saw last week is going to be uh, starting this all off, and it is the 1971 Bobby Gritch. I mean, that's his rookie card. He's a potential future Hall of Famer. I might as well go ahead and get that one done, you know, so getting that one. Uh, I'm also going to do the uh, 72 Opeachy Earl Weaver. Picked that one up in a trade a number of years ago. It's an Opeachy one, so it's just a filler for my set right now. I figure, you know... Maybe getting it slabbed would make me uh, more likely to be able to find a regular 72 tops one somebody would be willing to trade, so we'll see. I saw the Ryan Sandberg a couple weeks ago, so that's going to be going in as well. I've got my 1990... That was up. Okay, got my 1990 Donruss Steve Olin. Of course, he was the Cleveland Indians pitcher, killed in a boating accident in 1993, along with uh, teammate Tim Cruz. Also altered the career of uh, Bob Ojeda quite a bit. Saw so this one a couple weeks ago, too, the Mike Mussino rookie card. Going to get that one slabbed while I'm at it with all this. A um, bunch of stuff for sets I'm working on. I may have shown these off at some points. Um, on show off Sunday or something like that. But got my Don Sutton TTM from around maybe 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. Ernie Banks, which is a 2010 or thereabouts TTM. Uh, let's see here. Sparky Anderson, also probably around maybe 2007, 2008, something like that. Um, while we're on the topic of Tigers Legends signing TTM around that time, Ernie Harwell will be going in. Go ahead and get all my Duke Snyders done, so there's one of those. Got a Hall of Famer and former Congressman Jim Bunning, sending that one in. So got another Sparky right here, and another Ernie Harwell. Got this Yogi Bear. that was a TTM, I think 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. Uh, let's see here, i got one more, or another Duke Snyder right here. There's going to be three of those totals, so there's number two. Got my Peter Uberoth one, former commissioner, bought that one off eBay. He's known for uh, not being a big fan of signing this card for whatever reason, so happy to get that one off there. hope it comes back good, obviously. Um, another Ernie Banks right there. Got another... Duke Snyder. First Duke Snyder I ever got. I mailed to him twice and got all three of those cards done. One the first time, two the second. Got Marvin Miller, the uh, former executive director of the Players Association. That one I've seen graded or slab copies of going for close to $100 at times. So uh, as soon as I saw that Beckett had their deal, it's like, all right, we'll send that one in for sure. And the last one we've got here is the uh, duel of Kipnis and Lindor that I showed off. I got finished recently. So there you go. That's what's going to be in the outbox, at least here, when I send off to Beckett. And hopefully the inbox will have them all slabbed and good to go. Most of those were uh, TTMs. Uh, in fact, I think I think all of them were either TTM or trade. So no, uh, yeah, nothing that I got in person except for the Lindor autograph. The only one out of those. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So uh, hopefully right after this, I'm going to have my uh, Tuesday mail, maybe... Maybe having to show it off in my car, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, have that coming up right now. All right, so like I said earlier, mail got delayed pretty badly today, but it did finally arrive here. Um, got two in from the U.S., one from Canada, two from hockey players, one from baseball player, and two from Hall of Famers and one from not. So let's start with the non-Hall of Famer first. This one is the Canadian one. The initials on our CW, and I believe this is going to be Kerry Wilson, a former forward, mostly center, I believe, for the Rangers, the Whalers, the Flames. Not sure if anyone else, but I know those off the top of my head, and yeah, that's who we've got here. 
see if I missed any teams there. Calgary, Hartford, the Rangers, and back to Calgary at some point. So I think that's all of them. But yeah, it looks like he signed everything I sent. Show you these two here, the Pro Set varieties. Both from 1991 Pro Set set. Um, got the Rangers one, the Whalers one. Cool stuff, Series 1, Series 2, respectively. So, yeah, glad to get those ones. That took a couple months turnaround on those. So let's move on to these other ones here. Let's go with MS from Westchester, New York. If you're paying attention to how I move everything around here, there's going to be a Hockey Hall of Famer, I believe at least. And I think this is going to be Martin St. Louis, former Clevelander in there as well. Played for the Cleveland Lumberjacks for half the season before making it up to the NHL. And he did indeed sign his rookie card for me. So very happy to get that back. Got him a few times in person, but I never had his rookie card with me whenever I went for him. So uh, real happy to get that one signed. Even put his uh, rookie number of 46 on it there, if you look closely there. So, yeah, really happy to get that one done as well. And so the last one we have here is AD from Miami, Florida. See if you can think of a Baseball Hall of Famer with the initials of AD. Shouldn't be too hard to come up with the name Andre Dawson. And he signed all four cards I sent with the required fee as well. He's been charging $10 per card lately. So this, with this one being, uh, you know, big name and everything, I'm going to go ahead and show off all four cards that I got done. Two of them for the Diamond Kings sets right there. It's the 86 set there and the 88 set here. And also two cards for my Topps fan favorite sets. He was in three of the fan favorite sets, or all three of them, I should say. Got one of them signed several years ago, and uh, finally got around to getting these two done as well. So there you go. Really big day at the mailbox. I mean, four set hits. One uh, that I just wanted to get a Hall of Famer's rookie card signed, and Kerry Wilson, because I had never sent to him yet. So glad to get all of those back, and uh, continues on with a pretty good start to the week here so far, just two days in. Hopefully we'll have some more coming up on Wednesday. Um, I'm supposed to be getting some stamps in tomorrow as well if uh, USPS does this right at least. So uh, stick around. Hopefully those will be coming up right now. Well, it's Wednesday. Uh, bad news that there's no TTMs. The good news is, though, that I'll be able to send a bunch out that I'm looking forward to doing for a while because this just arrived. Now, just to show you how little respect the U.S. Postal Service has for, uh, for your mail sometimes... That thing was wedged into my mailbox here. I mean, bent right here, as you can see, and just shoved in there. And this had to be an effort to bend it like this. This is cardboard that is inside here. I'll pull it out and show you here in a second. But any faith that I have in the U.S. Postal Service is pretty low right now. So go ahead and open this up, though, and at least show you what I've got coming in here, as long as I can get into it. I mean, that's going to be the tough part here, it seems. So... Yeah, we're just going to have to do it that way. We'll probably have to rip it open from this side as well. Nice, en nice envelope they've got here. This is from uh, Australia Post, by the way, if you didn't see the back of it there. So nice packaging they've got here. But uh, yeah, U.S. Postal Service uh, really screwing things up real nicely there, unfortunately. So, all right, we're almost there. It's time to tear the side open on this. There we go. All right, so... See how badly damaged all of this is. Fortunately, okay, good. Well, they uh, didn't fold it in a bad spot, fortunately. So it got folded right above where the stamps were in there. But if you haven't figured it out yet, yes, these are the Australian stamps I've been mentioning for a while that have finally arrived here with me. Uh, let's see if I can very carefully tear into this. Try not to damage anything. Careful. Almost there. Almost there. And... Got it. Okay, good. So, stamps here. And these will hopefully get my uh, envelopes back to me from over in Australia when I send out my Australian football requests. So for anybody who has ever wanted to send to anybody in Australia for whatever reason, whether it's, you know, Australian football, they've got basketball, cricket, various famous people down there. I've got 15 stamps here. For some reason, I thought I had... Uh... That's cool. For some reason, I thought I'd only ordered 12, but no, I ordered 15, so that's good. But, um... So if you're ever looking to send some uh, cards of some kind, or something that'll fit into a small envelope at least, to Australia and back, you'll need your basic, um, let me find the, uh, 
See if I can find what I did with these. There they are. Okay. I'll show you my uh, one of my autograph requests here. I'm about to mail out down to there. Find a good one here. Got all right. Yeah, I'll go with this uh, one for Malcolm Blight. So you need you know your standard outgoing U.S. stamp right there of the uh, global variety. Those are costing I think it's a buck fifteen right now, something like that. Buck fifteen, buck twenty five. You know, it's cheap enough. The Australian stamps, however, it's three dollars and forty cents Australian right now to get uh, something back from there, which comes out to a little under three dollars U.S. But that's what the stamps will look like right now. It's the uh, Ramsar wetlands that are shown on there, the Blue Lake wetlands in New South Wales. So yeah, get one of those for your return envelope, and you'll be good to go off that. So there you go, sending out some. Uh, Request to Australia here, and hopefully those will be coming back soon as well. I've already sent one so far, still waiting on it, and I've got, like I said, 12 to go out, and actually 13 to go out now, because I wrote one more. So, there you go. That's uh, that's all we've got in the mail today. Hopefully we'll have some uh, actual TTM returns tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, something like that, to finish out the week. But, yeah, there you go. Let's see what we've got tomorrow, or uh, whenever later this week. All right, it is Thursday, late afternoon, early evening, on my way to band practice. Um, bad news, got one sent back to me, a return to sender from Doug Gilmore there. Apparently he has moved, so see if we can find a new address for him and try mailing off to him here a second time. Uh, I did get one success back though, so let's take a look at that real quick before I hit the road and grab dinner and play uh, Look at the band here, but it's uh, from Minneapolis. No name on it or no initials on it, I should say. It's either going to be Carl Eller or Jim Marshall. And there we go. This is Jim Marshall. Paid five bucks to get that one done for my football set. Let's go. There we go. So there you go. Jim Marshall autograph coming back to me today. And there you go. So hopefully we'll have some more to come up on Friday as well. Coming up tomorrow. Finish out the week, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, hopefully got stuff at least one of those days, hopefully both. If not, uh, there's probably something after this then. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what we got here the rest of the week. Hey, everybody. It's Friday. Um, got six envelopes in my mailbox today. Good stuff there. Start the NCAA tournament today as well. Unfortunately, Ohio State looking like absolute crap so far through the first half. They're down three against Oral Roberts. 20 seconds left in the half. That's, that's not a good start. But... Let's go ahead and take a look at the TTM. So I've got three that I think are football, two that I think are baseball, one that I think is hockey. Let's go ahead and start with this hockey one first. Postmark from Canada. Can't quite read the postmark on it there, but the initials on it are TM. I think this is going to be a former 90s tough guy, Troy Mallette, that's in this one. Let's find out for certain. And yeah, that is exactly who we've got here. Sent him four cards. Looks like he signed all four of them. Try not to spill those there. I'll show you the 91-92 score varieties here. The uh, Series 1 and Series 2, both there. So yeah, cool to get those ones back. Um, like I said, two others as well. So, quick response there. Took maybe a month, month and a half, something like that. Pretty fast, though. So there you go. Let's move on to the two that I'm pretty sure are baseball ones. First up, we have... Actually, it's a football one. Hang on. Let me, let me see here. Football, football, baseball, baseball. It might be three base. No, okay, there we go. Three football and then two baseball here. So we have the initials SR on this one. Comes from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think this is my finally a success on my second attempt with this guy. A Diamond King set hit. Steve Rogers should be what's in this envelope. And bingo, that is exactly who we've got. I'll sign my 84 tops card that I threw in with it. Great signature on that uh, Diamond Kings one there. Check that out. So there you go. Another Diamond King set hit right there. And we'll continue onward. So the other baseball one, as I said, initials are JE. It's Hartford, Connecticut. I think this is going to be a 72 tops, a pair of 72 tops set hits. From John Ellis, former Yankees first baseman. So it should be in here. Paid five bucks each on these. And yeah, there we go. A hugely thick marker on those, but turned out all right, I guess. Yeah. There you go. So there you go to... Uh, Two more for the 72 set right there. So let's go on ahead to the football ones. Um, so this one here, uh, you may recall I got one yesterday that was from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This one is another one from Minneapolis. Feels like one card in there. And so since yesterday's one was Jim Marshall, I think today's one is going to be Carl Eller. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, there we go, Carl Eller. 
cost a uh, $10 fee on that one, but got it back. Another one to add to the, uh, what was this, the 04 uh, Tops All-Time Fan Favorites Collection. Yeah, over half the set on that one signed. There's a lot of guys in there that are dead or not signing anymore or whatever, so probably never will complete it, but put a nice dent into it at least. Got another football one here. This one's postmarked from Memphis, Tennessee. The initials on our SM. This is going to be a longtime New England Patriot in this one. Wide receiver Stanley Morgan. And yeah, there we go. Personalized. Uh, signed two. Did not sign the... Uh, what is this one? Didn't sign the 78 Tops card. But he did sign at least these two. Personalized both to me. Good with that. And so one more here to check out. Football one postmark from right here in North Texas. The initials on it are RS. You might know who this is. Another one that I paid to uh, mail off to. Unfortunately, it appears that he kept one of the items. I sent a uh, card for that uh, Topps fan favorite set and also my Heisman Index card. And the Heisman Index card did not come back. But I did at least get this one from Roger Staubach. So I think I have all the Cowboys ones from the uh, America's Team uh, subset of the uh, of this one. So remember a few days ago or last week, I got a Tony Dorsett back. I bought a Tony Hill one a few years ago, and I got uh, Drew Pearson in person. Try saying that ten times fast, Pearson in person. But uh, um, yeah, I think I've knocked out all those officially now. So ooh, got uh, busted up pretty badly there by the post office. Unfortunately, didn't see that, but uh, you see there, I got a little bit creased up near the top there. So. Should look fine, though, once I get into a page, kind of press it a little bit, straighten it out. So, yeah, there you go. Good stuff in. Uh, like I said, wish I had gotten the Heisman Index back there on Staubach as well, but I'm, I'm, I'm good with just the one there, too. So, there you go. Hopefully, we'll have some more coming in tomorrow on Saturday. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in here, and hopefully, we'll have some right now. Well, it is Saturday. Um, unfortunately, only one thing in the mail, and as you see right there, Return to sender for those of you who are not a francophonically inclined. Mauvais address is a bad address, which is weird because I could swear that Guillaume Latendresse was still working with uh, RDS, and that's the web that's the uh, address right off their website. So I don't know. I mean, I wasn't really super attached to sending to Latendresse anyway. I can find plenty of people to send to in Canada. So whatever, I'll just reuse the uh, envelope on that. My return envelope, I should say, on that. Uh, I'm going to show these off real quick. I mentioned earlier in the week the stuff that I'm sending off to Beckett. Uh, my friend Chris is getting in on that submission with me, and so uh, I get a lot of comments saying, wow, wow, you've really got some great stuff in your collection. I'm like, haha, please, there's plenty of them out there who have way better stuff than me, and here's some evidence, because here's what Chris is sending in to Beckett for slabbing. There's a Brooks Robinson right there on a Topps uh, Archives card, a Cal Ripken Jr. Don Russ rookie card, a Cal Ripken Jr. Topps rookie card, and just to complete the trifecta, the, uh, oops, hang on, let's put these here, the Cal Ripken Jr. Fleer rookie card as well. Um, there's the uh, 83 Don Russ Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Paying attention to the $4 marking there, that's on the uh, case there, the, uh, what do you call it, the top loader type thing, card saver. There we go. It's got the uh, Ryan Sandberg tops rookie card as well. And just continuing on through the 83 set, there's the Fleer and tops Wade Boggs rookie cards right there as well that he's sending in. He's also got the 85 Tops Yogi Berra. Several Adrian Beltrays. We'll go with these first two with the uh, Ginter 10th Anniversary and the uh, Tops Heritage one there. I've actually got that Heritage one signed also. I'd like to try to trade that one, though, for the uh, Tops. I think it's in Tops Archives one that I need. Is it Archives? It's either Archives or the 72 Mini from the 13 set, something like that. Two more Beltrays that he's sending in there. Uh, I think this is a rookie card as well of Orlando Cepeda, Hall of Famer. He's got another Brooks Robinson right there. He's also sending in the 66 Lou Brock. Very nice signature on that one. He's got the uh, 75 Tops Dave Winfield. Looking good there. Uh, a couple of Roger Clemens rookie cards. We'll show those real quick here. The Donruss and the Fleer varieties on those. He's also got the 91 Don Russ King Griffey Jr. That's a real nice sig right there. The Randy Johnson Don Russ rookie card. That's an old Johnson signature right there. You can actually clearly see where it says Johnson in it. Well, hell, you can clearly see every letter in it, which uh, you can't these days on uh, the big unit sig. 
Um, how about a couple of Nolan Ryans here? We've got the Mother's Cookies and the uh, 78 Tops Record Breaker that are a couple more that Chris is sending through. We've got the uh, Nolan Arenado Archives card. And this one I really like because this is, I think, technically his... Uh, it's at least his first tops card, if not his outright rookie card, but how about that Stan Musial right there from the, it's a 58, 59, one of those sets. What does it say on there? That's 58 tops Stan Musial. Nice looking card there. So there you go. That's the whole thing that's going down to Beckett. There's stuff from Chris. Uh, you saw my stuff earlier in this video. So there you go. Um, pretty solid week overall with the mailbox. And ends on the sour note there with nothing today in the uh, R uh, RTS, but... You know what? You win some, you lose some. What can I say? So, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure that if you haven't subscribed yet that you're doing so down there, down there, somewhere below the video. You'll see the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that. You'll find out every time I've got new videos coming up, usually every Saturday evening, sometimes Sundays. It'll go up somewhere in there with just a week-long recap. Uh, make sure you go check out sportscardforum.com. Great website for all things sports collectibles. Great uh, TTM address bank going on there and all sorts of other just great stuff on their message boards. So make sure you sign up down there as well. And that's it. We'll see you next week.